Hi, this is Magna, and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to uh, add your own custom sets of uh, armor, shields, and uh, melee weapons. I'll do missile weapons in their own uh, episode because there's a bit more to them than the other three. Uh, now, I'm not talking about the visuals. I'm talking only here about the statistics and the associated uh, effects with them. So firstly, firstly, let's uh, jump into our unit base pack, and we will add the three required tables, one for each uh, of those pieces of equipment. But firstly, we will uh, I'll show you where they are assigned to each unit, and that is in land units table. The armor is assigned here based on the key. Each one is assigned based on their own specific key. The melee weapon is assigned here in primary melee weapon. Missiles are obviously here. And lastly, the shield is assigned in the shield column. So let's add the three tables for those uh, columns, those different types of equipment. And we do that from Data Roam 2. So we go right click, if you missed it, on DB, add from pack, then this pops up, Data Roam 2. And then we get our next pop up window. And the three tables we want are melee weapons tables. There it is, right click on that. And then also unit armor types tables. Right click on that. And lastly, unit shield types tables. Right click on that. So now we've got all three. We'll save it and rename every single one of them. Mag, shoot, or whatever you want to call it. and save. Uh, so we'll start from the bottom and work our way up just like we do when we create a unit. We I start from the bottom table and work my way up. Um, and that's possible because we don't need to use combo boxes which are there in case you're wondering. Um, so looking at the shields we see here we can assign four different uh, factors to a shield. One being the defense, which is added to the unit's defense to give a total defense number. Second one is the armor value, which is again added to the unit's armor to give a total armor value for attacks. The audio material, uh, which is I think pretty self-explanatory that it's the audio material when dealing with that shield. So if someone hits it with their sword, it'll make this kind of a cutting sound or what have you. And the unknown here in the uh, PFM is the missile block chance. So that 10 is 10%, 25 is 25%, 0 is 0%, 0 which makes sense when you don't have a shield. Uh, also, with shields, these are uh, these uh, stats only actually are counted uh, when the unit is attacked from the front or from the left. Any attacks on the right or at the back, uh, the shield stats are not taken into account with those types of attacks. Okay, so with that, let's uh, overwrite one of these shields and we'll make one of our, um, make our own custom shield. Uh, we'll call it uh, Mag's Shield of Awesomeness. Ah, that's long enough. Okay, Mag's Shield of Awesomeness gives 200 defense, uh, gives an armor value of one, some ridiculous numbers here, and it blocks 100% of all missiles. Yay! Uh, the audio here is pulled from the audio tables. Let's uh, jump. I'll open up the Data Roam 2 here. If we can't find it in the Data Roam 2, that's probably because it may be a hidden table and so the best way when you're looking at wh what these are looking up is to go into assembly kit. I would do that for this tutorial to show you what I mean but uh, assembly kit has chosen not to work today. Maybe CA is updating it or something I'm not sure but it is not working at the moment so I'm going to have to do it without. So audio 
audio projectiles. Yeah, okay. I don't think I don't think it's in this table, or I can't be bothered looking for it any further. So okay. So now we've got a. Um, these audio materials are also the same for uh, weapons as well. You can use the same ones. I'm pretty sure. Make bronze. Okay, make it a bronze shield. And now we can, because it's custom named, I can delete all the other ones and I just keep in the mags shield of awesomeness. Save that. I don't want to lose that shield. Now I'll assign that to a unit, one of the custom units. Uh, these slingers, I just I like working with these slingers. I'm going to make them absolutely unstoppable with mag shield of awesomeness. Next is armor types. You can see there's not really that many armor types. You can make as many as you like. Uh, it's not really that limited. This weak versus missiles, it doesn't really do anything. I've done some tests with it with values ranging from 1 to 1,000 or 10,000 or minus 10,000. No noticeable effect with this column. Um, same with this column here. So from as far as I'm aware, the only thing that is relevant with armor is the audio material and the armor value. So again, I'm going to make a custom armor. I'm just going to overwrite and I'll call it mags armor of overpoweredness. And that can have 150 armor. Again, these don't matter. And it can be made of cloth. Strongest cloth known to man. I'll delete everything else because it's no longer necessary and the tables are custom named. Now this makes it nice and compatible with all other mods. And I will add it to, once again, the slinger unit. Like so. This slinger unit is going to be very difficult to kill. I'll save that. And lastly, we're going to the melee weapons. The melee weapons, we have a lot more columns here to play with. Again, we have the audio material, which is pulling probably from the same uh, table as the other ones. Uh, but I, And I'm going to create a sword. So I'm going I'm to work with the top one as well, so I can delete everything else nice and easy. Uh, Weapon type, sword. The length here doesn't really do that much. It may, I think it gets c used maybe once in combat when they first engage, but not throughout the actual combat as far as I'm aware. Uh, I've not tested shield piercing, armor piercing, or, ar or uh, armor penetrating, uh, but there are a number of values in the KV rules tables, which I will get to in a later episode, which deal with the effectiveness of these kinds of... Um, stats so it could be very well f fed into that. The bonus versus elephants, cavalry and infantry do work and uh, as far as I'm aware it is a normal damage not an armor piercing damage that's what AP stands for. Uh, here you have of course normal damage and armor piercing damage which are additive which means the total damage that this weapon will do is 32, 16 plus 16 you can tell because down here the armor piercing is more than the normal damage. Um, so that is not 16 armor piercing out of 16. It is 16 plus 16. Um, the stats you give your uh, weapons is very much uh, relative to the amount of armor you give your units and the hit points kind of system you're going for. If you're going to reduce all hit points, you may want to reduce all your weapons. That's if you want to get complicated and make a full-on system like I'm doing with my mod. Um, armor piercing of course is unaffected by whatever armor the, ha the person has, the unit has. So if they have mags armor of whatever I call it, I don't even remember, um, then it won't make a difference if they have high armor piercing damage. Again, we can rename it to something ridiculous like Mag's Sword of Unstoppable. Mm, nah. 
killing stuff. Yes, that's what it is. And it's going to be a ridiculous weapon which kills everything in one hit, if it hits. Yeah, you can do ridiculous stuff like this. Why not? So I'll delete everything else now. It's not needed. And the mag's sword of killing stuff will go on to, of course, the slinger's unit. And that's all there is to uh, weapons, melee weapons, armor, and shields. I uh, hope that was helpful, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.